What's going on guys? Finally in my new house here in Hot Atlanta. So they've been working on the safe cannabis bill for six years and the house finally got this approved. So what the safe bill does, it allows cannabis companies to actually use banks to transfer money instead of just using cash like they have been using. So let's just say just like any other company, if you needed a plumber to come or like an electrician to come, pretty much the only way that these cannabis companies could pay them is just basically through cash. So this is really big for the cannabis industry, but it's not over yet. It does need to go to the Republican Senate to get it passed. But going through the house, that was the biggest step. But if it wasn't for the market going down, I'm pretty sure these cannabis stocks would have ran up pretty good today, but the market did pull them down, which opens up a good opportunity for buying these stocks low. And right now, a lot of these cannabis stocks are very low because they have not been doing good over the past couple months. So enough of me talking on this brand new porch I have here. Let's get right into these cannabis stocks and the safe bill and see what it's all about. So the Safe Banking Act gives cannabis businesses access to banking. That's basically just what I was talking about. So the Safe Banking Act passed by 321 to 103. I don't know that much about bills passing, but it looks like that's a pretty big pass. There was 91 Republicans voting for this bill. So I think that's going to be good when it actually goes to the Senate. This is one of the big issues right here. This is what this guy is saying right here. Safe Banking Act will go a long way to getting cash off the streets. And he's basically talking about drug dealers and such. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Safe Banking Act would allow cannabis businesses to access financial services. So they could take loans out to pay like plumbers and electricians, you know, stuff like that to help keep their facility up and going. Because I believe most of the companies right now, they have just been dealing with cash. So this safe bill being passed for the cannabis companies is very good. It's going to start to move things ahead a lot quicker. And it should make a lot of these companies grow as well, I think, too, because now they can take out loans from banks. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these cannabis stocks right now. All right, this is ACB Aurora Cannabis right here. And as you can see from the bill being passed, it ran up in after hours here. But the market pulled this one down today pretty good. And if we look at the bigger picture here, you can see that it really started as downtrend back in May. And it's just been on a free fall. And I think right now is a good time to get in this stock, which I'm going to be honest, I actually did buy some of this stock today. ACB is one of my favorite cannabis stocks just because they have huge facilities. So let's take a look at another one. How about Cron? Let's see what they're doing today. And they're not doing very good as well. It looks to be that it just bounced off support here at about 892-ish. But once again, as you can see, the market pulled this one down too, and it basically just wiped out all of its gains that it's made. So if you want to buy some cheap marijuana stocks, I'd probably say right now is a good time. So let's take a look at MJ here. This is a stock that basically follows pretty much the whole sector of the marijuana industry. And I'm starting to get a little bit of deja vu here because a lot of these stocks are looking the exact same. Let's take a look at the 10-year two-day just to see how bad. Oh, yeah, that's bad. So I'm going to keep on saying it. If you want to get into the marijuana stocks, now is a good time, looks like, because a lot of these stocks are dumping pretty hard. So we got Hexo here too. This looks to be holding off support a little bit. But if we look at what, just what they did today, it didn't dump that bad. So this one's holding up pretty good, I'd say. It's just pathetic that the market pulled all these stocks down because they would have ran up pretty good if that didn't happen. So as of right now, all of these cannabis stocks are basically doing the same thing. So if you're looking to get in any of these stocks, basically just do some research on the company and then just pick one of them. So this is great news for the cannabis.